let's run through now our final four picks. Let's let, let let's run through that we picked before. I don't think I ever actually sent you mine. You didn't, did you? Which I'm glad I did. All right. Well, you can do them now. You no, to... I'll tell you who they were. Okay, like, I guess I remember who they are. Um, I know it was Kentucky. That was yeah. a great pick. Me too. Me too. Um, why did I let myself get talked into that? <laughs> I'm just Purdue, saying. UConn, Arizona. Is so I had I... Purdue, UConn, Carolina. So I'm going to keep those three, as I'm sure you will too. Who are you replacing Kentucky with? Hold on. Uh, you say yours, and I got to look at them. Mine were Kentucky also... was in what? What? What region was Kentucky in? Uh, they were in the south. They're in the South. So I have Purdue, UConn, Carolina. I, I'm going to stick with my pick for Carolina to win it all. I don't feel great, great about it. But I just – I wanted to come up with something a little bit different than than everybody going with UConn and Purdue. Yeah. Um, frankly. So the South would be Duke, Houston, and Marquette, NC State. South would be Houston. Yeah, Houston, Duke, NC State, Marquette. Uh, I went – I actually went Marquette with this one. Yeah. I'll go Duke. Yeah, I mean, Duke's... I like the way they're playing. I'll I'll go... And uh, that could look dumb. Houston could totally win that game. But I'll go Duke along with my pick of UConn, Arizona, and Purdue. Uh, And you have Purdue to win it all still? Yeah. Of course you do. Of course you do. Shocking. This is the year, baby. Shocking. (laughs) Um... Who I picked? What do, what do you want me to do? Change it? No, you got to go. You got to stick with it. That's how I am with Carolina. Again, I don't. I don't love it. Love it. Dude, some of the narratives though that Purdue has like added all these pieces to change. They added one guy. Right. Right. One. Guy. They've gotten better. They've had players get better. You know, and they've got the best player in the country still. But that that's just a hilarious. No, <laughs> it's, hilarious it's, it's the blueprint is again, try to keep some of your core. Now. Purdue kept most of it. UConn kept some of it. And then, you know, all the coaches that I'm talking to, they're, they're, they're trying to navigate this portal and say, Hey, listen, we can keep really, can you keep uh 40% of your roster, you know, That's of so your main sad. guys? Really? That is such a sad statement. Can you, keep, dude. can you keep five of your top 11, bring in two freshmen, bring in three transfers. That's like the perfect blueprint for most coaches right now, if they can do it. Yeah. No, um, the game the game has changed and it's it's rapidly evolving here too. I just hope I I, I know that there was articles written the first weekend and there was tweets and if Greg Sankey screws this up, I will never forgive him. It would be awful. It, <laughs> it, it he can, they could ruin the tournament. Right. I don't know how it can stop cuz I get where their motives are coming from. I get why they're they're feeling that way as the commissioner of a power conference. It's awful. But though. the best things that I saw was was Kentucky losing. And it's not no offense to Kentucky. It's right. the fact that that kid goes goalkeeper goes out and makes 10 threes. Yep. And the the building is just a buzz. Or like when Yale beats Auburn. And no offense to Auburn, but that is what is awesome about the tournament, you know? Like those are the, the games that you were that you remember. And I, I just think that we are so at risk and, and so close to ruining that. And that would be a shame. That truly would be a tragedy. Because this event has become, from a fan perspective, from a TV ratings perspective, it's as good as it's been. Like it, the, 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 Everything is good there. Don't screw it up. 